Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the shop. In this episode, we're going to be working on installing the low beam headlight relay. This relay is separate from the RTMR and we're going to be installing it in, inside of the dash. We'll also go through the testing process to make sure this uh, relay works and, and the design of the relay works. Um, inside of the video you will see uh, the wiring diagram for this setup so that you can replicate it at home if you desire. This is the relay I'm going to use for the low beam. It's a five pin relay. Um, I'm only going to be using four of the pins, so the 87A circuit um, the, with the yellow wire has been snipped. Uh, I don't want to completely remove that wire. I may want to use it someday in the future when I do something else. Um, <clears throat> so uh, we're going to be using this in the four pin configuration. This is the wiring for the headlight switch. Um, I've got a brown wire, which is the power wire going into the switch. I'm going to snip that one. Um, one end will go to the uh, 30 circuit, which will be the power for the headlight. And the other, will, the other end with the clip on it will be the power for the switch with a, a low, low draw. The blue one is the output to the headlight. Um, so this is the, the blue wire that'll, that will power the low beam. The green with red stripe, uh, I'm not going to do anything with that one. That actually goes uh, back to the RTMR to uh, power, I think it's the, uh, the, the, the second relay. Um, I don't have my wiring diagram in front of me. And the third one is, or the fourth wire is the ground. So I'll be using that um, to ground the, um, the, the headlight relay. So we're gonna snip the brown and the blue wire Brown is power in, blue is power out to the low beam. The orange wire on the relay is the power into the relay and to provide power to the switch I'm going to splice um, the, the the switch power into the the 30 circuit and then um, also put the power from um, the RTMR into uh, the 30 circuit. So I'm splicing in this and in order to do that what I've done is um, created a, um, a spot on the on the wire where um, I've basically bird caged the the orange wire and um, inserted the switch power which is uh, the, the brown wire which will go into the switch and then I'm going to solder it together um, this is it's pretty intimate contact I'm not sure if it's hundred percent the right way of doing this but um, I think it's uh, it'll be a good joint or a good a good splice okay so that's done it uh, isn't the prettiest solder joint in the world but um, it is connected and it's uh, intimately um, or in intimate contact because the wire from the brown wire went through a bird caged um, wire. I'm sure uh, some of my friends in the aer aerospace industry will chuckle at this type of uh, uh, workmanship but um, <laughs> overall I think this will work. Uh, I will cover this with electrical tape since the heat shrink tubing um, won't do the job here um, and the next thing I'll do is connect this end to the power uh, in the car. So I think I found a good place for locating the low beam relay. Um, I'm underneath the dash right now um, where I'm pointing with my fingers that's the ashtray, so that's the center of the dash. This stud holds on the, the dash pad. I've taken the nut off of that. I'm gonna install the relay here, and the wires from the relay will be able to hang down uh, very close to the headlight switch. So I think it's a, a, a convenient place to put this. So everything's been wired and connected. I have not um, finished all of the 
final work like putting on all of the shrink tubing, heat shrink tubing, uh, I like to test things to make sure that they work. Uh, I've got the headlight switch on and you can see by the light bulb here that the circuit is energized and which is fine but I also want to make sure I've got the right voltage going through this. So I've got uh, my old school voltmeter here and you can see right now I don't have my probe in place and I'm going to touch on the connection the splice connection because it's open and I can I can get to it and I'm going to see what I've got for the voltage going through here so here let me see if I can do two things at once focus and touch a wire so I've got yeah, about four and three quarter volts going through this that doesn't make any sense if I turn if I touch on the blue wire which is the power power going through with the switch on it shows four eh, four and a four and a quarter so I've lost half a volt through all of the splices and connections but it still doesn't make any sense now if I turn the switch off so you'll see the light go off the switch is off and then when I touch that splice connection I've got almost 12 volts so when the switch is on I've got a 8 volt drop when the switch is off I'm uh, just about where the battery voltage should be so I've either got a bad relay or a bad switch or the design of my circuit is causing <laughs> an 8 volt loss so I'm going to test I've already tested uh, two separate relays and they did the same thing so it's not a bad relay I'm going to test um, the connection here the splice I may be and I'm not an electrician or an electrical engineer or anything like that, so I'm, I always test everything. I may have a problem with some voltage drop because of the circuit. The, the, uh, the power to the switch is too closely tied to the, to the relay. I, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, disconnect, the, I'm going to disconnect the power to the switch, put another separate line in, and just test it to make sure that I've got um, a operating system here that works. I'll either validate this is this is good, and uh, or I'll validate that my design is poor, um, or I've got a switch that's got a lot of loss in it, um, and that that's very possible too. So, next step, test the switch power. Well. I tested and tested, I have a good relay. Um, what I found out is I had a bad ground. Go figure. So the system works, uh, the design works, just have to button it up. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Here's what the final orientation looks like. Pre-installation of the relay up into the dash. I've got uh, friction tape wrapping the the wiring so that uh, there's no scuffing and that, that it's uh, it stays together next step is to install the relay underneath the dash okay this is uh, the under dash view this is always the most fun part for a guy like me I'm only uh, 6 1 and 2 10 so it uh, <laughs> it's always a little bit of a cramp to get underneath this Okay, so let's see if I can get a little bit of a better view here. Um, there's the stud that's going to go on. I'm going to put it in here and then just put a screw in. I'm going to do that off camera. This takes more than uh, one hand to do, so I can't uh, hold the camera. I'll show you what it looks like after I get the uh, nut and washer on. Okay, so here's the final orientation of the relay under the dash. I double nutted it so that it won't come loose. 
And if you look over through, through towards the front, here's the the switch and the dash. I'll, I'll get a top side look at this as well. But I've got sufficient room um, with the wiring under here to be able to orient that so no more movement of that relay. Uh, it's tucked in pretty good. Okay, here's Here's what the top side looks like. Um, that dash or that switch will fit well in the dash. Um, I've got more than enough, as you can see, I've got more than enough movement to line that switch up. Um, so it uh, just enough room. That'll be good. I'm not going to install this until. Um, I've got all the other wiring under the dash taken care of. So at this point, it's just going to hang here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Always learning something new. Um, good grounds are very important. <laughs> so um, if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. Next time uh, we're back, we're going to be working on the uh, relays for the windshield wipers. We're going to be putting two 5-pin relays in to be able to run the 2-speed wiper. That'll be kind of interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing if that works. As always, if you have any feedback or suggestions for improvement, I love to hear them. Uh, share them with me, and I'll make sure that they're shared with everybody else uh, through the videos. So, until um, next time, thank you.